must visit the premises after taking permission of the head of the department and you must submit your inspection report online which cannot be challenged changed thereafter by you upon considerations which are not fair therefore even inspection procedure has been made fairly transparent namely if the compliance of a company of various labor laws are on portal then you are entitled to do a sample investigation but for a stated reason as to these things are lacking or infirmity is there take the approval of your head of department go for inspection but submit a report within 72 hours which should be online these fairness of decision making process is surely going to change a lot of mindset because ultimately make in india is also linked to political mindset bureaucratic mindset and also mindset of those who are in business electronic manufacturing we are promoting in a very big way electronic is my under me apart from postal communication and it when i came as minister i was taking briefing from various department and i found electronic to be a very small department of only three officers one junior two junior one senior but when i saw the potential of electronics it was immense ladies and gentlemen we import electronic goods worth 100 billion dollar every year it is likely to become 400 billion dollar by the year 2020 with all the duty component surpassing the fuel component in fact make in india came from there when i made a presentation before the prime minister everything is electronic this is electronic this is electronic the camera is electronic the led light is electronic the mobile phone is electronic why should have we proper modestly priced smartphones in india the market is so huge it can be there from a smart card to sim card to set top boxes to led light to medical electronics about 80% of pathological equipment for medicine medicinal purposes are electronics then defense electronics 60% is again electronics manufacturing therefore we have liberalized the whole regime the first thing we realize that making in india was difficult importing in india was cheaper by revisiting the entire in what a duty structure we have led to a lot of clarity fdi is 100% automatic route in certain cases through fib clearance in specified areas and we encourage this make in india world over i visited germany i visited south africa i met a lot of big players in this sector and a lot of them have got encouraged then we educated the states about the great potential of electronic manufacturing there was a old policy of cluster lying in under dust we changed that the cms have become very excited we have cleared 13 electronic clusters and there are proper incentives for that what is the government of india incentive you invest 100 dollar we will give you 25 apart from other duty concessions if a state government gives us 50 acres of land we will give them 50 crore straight away this is in addition to incentives which the state government will give with this ecosystem having come about i am very happy to inform you that we have received proposals worth 20000 crores and we have already approved proposals worth 6.5000 crores and other are in process china's scenario is not very comfortable now people want to come in india they want to invest in india they want to make in india and therefore we have said even if you are international multinational come make in india for india and also export outside and for all the benefits you will be treated as an indian company making in india or also exporting outside getting the export incentives well ladies and gentlemen these are a lot of ecosystem we have developed in the last 7 8 months we have been in power i know taxing is a problem let me make an observation on this taxing scenario of india should not begin with vodafone and end with vodafone vodafone issue could have been handled differently i know that 
But Mr. Narendra Singh, when I am sitting with you with lawyers and all, do Indians company have to pay heavy tax in USA or not? In England or not? Are they at times wrongly assessed or not, which they seek to challenge in appeal? Is outsourcing an issue or not, on which India's companies are being discriminated? Therefore, this kind of campaign, as if Vodafone is the B end of everything in India, was not fair. If they needed a redress, there was a mechanism for that. And we have agreed we are finding a resource for that. In case of other Vodafone case, a Bombay High Court came to their rescue. We chose not to file an appeal against that. On the Nokia case also, a lot of being talked about. Let me clarify. What was Nokia case? Nokia was taken over by Microsoft. But it did not choose to take over the Nokia plant in Chennai. Up they had a taxing liability. The escrow account ought to have been handled properly. It was not handled. We are addressing those issues. But as far as we are concerned, we are very clear the taxing regime has to be stable, has to be predictable. But those who do business also need to understand that they are obliged to pay tax. If they do business, they will have to pay tax. And tax should be done in a fair manner, in a reasonable manner, promptly decided. That's the regime which we are encouraging. I hope I could have spoken more, but my watch says I need to be in Parliament. I quite appreciate this initiative. This initiative only encourages more interaction, more dialogue, and if something worthwhile comes, surely we will look into it for greater improvement. That's how we need to do. One last thing I have to submit, ladies and gentlemen, and that is this. Those who need to do business or those who are doing business also need to understand that India now is different. We try to do business in a straightforward manner. And surely, a lot of good will come about. Thanks a lot. Namaskar. It's a brilliant.